So welcome to the Summer Festival. If you haven't done this before, this guide should help you to ultimately know exactly what you want to be doing in this event so you can save as much time as possible and not waste your time with meaningless things. The main objective of this event is to buy as many piñatas as possible to ultimately get this buff food of squash soup, caprice and watermelon sorbet. You do not want to buy these ones here as they are bound and the ones from the piñatas are unbound. However, there are of course a few other neat rewards you can get you can make quite a massive amount of profit through stronghold vouchers so before we get started i'd like to give a massive thank you to all of these channel members for the continued support and let's jump in to the summer festival so if you've never completed the summer festival before the first thing you want to make sure you've gone ahead and done is unlocked your workshop if you're level 20 and you've only recently got to level 20 well you will have it unlocked through the adventure velosk alternatively you'll have to pick up the workshop opportunity quest from sergeant knox in doing so we go through the entire process of unlocking your workshop so once you've completed that tutorial, got your workshop set up, you will then have a section here called Summer Provisioning. And here you'll be able to craft the different items from the Summer Festival. Mainly, you want to be able to craft the Saha Ticket Ball, but you need an artisan to do so. And then you may need to head to actually start your Summer Festival, picking up the gold quest from your vendor just here and heading to the area of the Summer Festival. Here you will simply go and speak to this NPC, you will hand in that quest, the Summer Festival complete, and you will pick up then the following four quests. Summertime Saha, Summer of Love, Favor of Soon, along with summer celebration you can see straight away you complete favor of soon and every day you will just complete that quest obtaining an additional favor of soon which you will spend then in the store the tribute store just here to buy your certain rewards first day you'll get one every day you'll get another and you can see after 21 days which is the entirety of this event you'll have enough to buy your top tier reward either the rune board or your fungal flail snail now with the combination of quests you've just picked up you should now have three of them just there so what you need to focus on is summertime saha you will simply go let's say we prioritize this quest and speak to this lady just here once you do so, you'll get two more quests from her. You want to pick both of those up and then you want to head over to this guy who then you'll just give you some copper tickets along with your very own Saha Ball quest. Now that very own Saha Ball quest is the most important one. However, what you will need to do is buy the Enrichedion of the Volley. So you'll need to go to this guy and you'll need to go to copper tickets and just buy this one. This will allow you to be able to kick a Saha ball when in a match. And we'll just speak back to the NPC and she gives us the volley ability. So when we're in the pitch, we should be able to be able to. Yeah, we can volley so we can jump up and catch the ball or toss the ball, whatever that does. Now, with regards to the very own Saha ball quest, we need to get that completed. So we have to interact with these flowers, interacting with your first flax plant flower will then show you that you need a total of five of them. We get to three, four, and five. And now you will have to actually go and queue up to the event, the Saha match. You'll only have to do this once though. We accept our Saha match. And once you go and load in, you'll get your pitch and your match should begin once everybody's loaded in. Unfortunately, your match is going to last 10 minutes, no matter what you do. Seems they've bugged the teleportation circles to look pretty massive. But with that, when you go to play, you get the ball in the middle and you can try and compete with each other to get the ball in the goals. It's pretty much just a big time waster. And we'll skip on to the end of the match. So after standing AFK for 10 minutes, your match is about to end. Last five seconds. Beautiful. They scored another goal. Your match ends. You can see there wins or loses. Regardless, you get your chest and you can go claim your treasure. Like you can get silver tickets in here. You got your fire blossom petals. But again, you're not going to keep repeating this for those rewards. You simply do it to complete that very own Saha Ball quest. We speak back to this guy, the NPC, and hand in the quest and we gain that crafting materials along with the voucher. Now this voucher will give us the ability to buy a Saha Ball 
for free. You will only ever get this voucher once. For the rest, you'll need to use those crafting materials to get your Saha balls. You can see there's your Saha ball. It's character bound. You won't be selling it or anything. But those Saha balls are the most important thing with this event. So this guy again will give us another quest, your very own Saha ball, which is a repeatable quest, the quest you will be able to do every single day. And you can see, you either have to gather flax flowers, 0 out of 10, or play a Saha match. Now, what you can do is, yeah, just go and get those flax flowers, which you are competing with other people to get. Or go queue up to Saha and just go AFK for 10 minutes. But when you have multiple characters, you can't really afford to spend that time unless, yeah, you really have the time to AFK. But getting these flax flowers, they do respawn pretty quick. And once you know where their locations are, you can generally find them pretty quick again. Just don't be fooled by these other flowers that you can pick up beside these cobalts. You want to be getting these purple ones just here. And once you've got that last flower, you can then go and hand the quest back in. No need for me to go and queue into Saha whatsoever again. We hand the quest back in and you can see again he will just give us more of those crafting materials. This time he doesn't give us a voucher that was exclusive to that first quest. So now you see you have a bunch of other stuff like Summer Celebration, Summer of Love. Those quests you do not need to do. They will give you a bunch more crafting materials but not exactly what you need. What you want to do now is head back to your portal, back to Protector's Enclave or directly to your workshop if you have VIP. You go, you enter your workshop, and if you don't get a bug, you should be able to get a summer artisan. Now, it looks to me that I did not obtain one upon entering. You'll need the artisan to craft your sailcloth, to craft your Saha ticket balls. I tried this on my main paladin and still no artisan here either. And switching over to my rogue, I thankfully actually received the damn artisan. We can see now we can actually go and craft items using this artisan. So every single day, what you want to be doing and on multiple characters is speaking to this NPC, getting the favor of soon quest and just handing that straight back in to claim your favor of soon and then speaking to this guy and picking up his quest, which you then have to go gather 10 flowers. Once you've gone and got your 10 flowers, you hand back in the quest and you get those reagents to craft your Saha ticket ball. Then you head back to your workshop and here, as long as you have the artisan, you can go and craft your sailcloth. Just craft that there with zero morale, that will completely finish it. Just craft a few of the sailcloths that you'll need. You will need a total of three. Ideally, you do not fail, so you could potentially use different reagents here to give you extra proficiency, but generally it's not really needed. Once you've got that sailcloth, enough of it, three, you can then go and craft your Saha ticket bot. It will cost you one more RAL. And if you have enough reagents, you continue crafting your sailcloth until you can craft another ticket ball. You can see we've ran out of the reagents there that we need, but we do have three of the sailcloth. So we'll have to come back the next day after we gather more of that summer flax fiber and summer linseed oil. Now you can see there are indeed other recipes. However, I really personally would not worry about them at all. You can go down that route of grinding out said reagents to get, let's say, your watermelon or your squash soup. But it's really not the focus of this event. It's just a waste of time, in my opinion. So every day you go through that grind, you can do it on multiple characters, but you'll get a maximum of about one Saha ticket ball per day per character. So after the event is over, you'll have 21 ticket balls. Now before the event is over, in the last week of the event, you will see that on the calendar being the summer festival's height. During this time slot, during this week from August the 4th to August the 11th is when you want to be using these Saha ticket balls. How do you use them? Well, you need to have a count of how many you have across your characters. Let's say I have 200 total. I will try and join a party 
with four other people who each also have 200 total what we will do is i will go to a position like either a corner under a bridge or in this little hut in protector's enclave we'll all cram ourselves in here we'll slot our saha ticket ball in our belt slot there we'll use that ticket ball and then we'll just spam that volley kick on that saha ball you can see i'm getting the drops there of those fire blossoms or those fire petals and also those party poppers now you will get increased rewards after you've volleyed enough of these balls you will get volleys when your party members hit these balls so what you will do is i place down my ball i kick it once i've placed down all the balls that i own i will then just stand afk while the next person kicks all the balls they own make sure when you've finished kicking all your balls across all your characters to come back to your original character which you want the rewards on you're kicking these balls for the rewards primarily the fire blossom petals which again you will get increased amount of drops when you're doing this within the summer festival height at least you will get the increased amount of petals from the pinatas which you will buy with these fire, fire blossom petals you will get these tickets like these copper tickets silver tickets etc after you've kicked a certain amount of these balls you can see we have 62 volleys right now we will have to get to 150 volleys to get silver tickets and we'll have to get to 300 volleys to get mithra tickets and those tickets we will go to that store in a minute you will spend to get pretty neat rewards again you are just popping down your saha ball and spamming that left click button to volley the ball i don't know if this is a bug or an exploit but this is how we've always been doing it for a long time i assume the role play method is to kick the ball around a field like you would in normal saha and get rewards by doing so however if you don't kick the ball after a certain amount of time the ball just disappears so if the ball ends up far enough away from the group that nobody can kick it then your ball is just disappearing so there we've just kicked a total of three balls and we've already got 93 volleys we may as well kick the rest of these and we can see we already start earning silver tickets on the sixth ball we have kicked again keep in mind you want to do this in party with other people who have said they're going to kick the same amount of balls as you when we go back to the summer festival zone you can speak to this vendor just here and he's your ticket master exchange copper tickets you will spend them on whatever you want you can get these certain tattoos which can look pretty cool or some other fashion items there along with some actual abilities that you can use within saha like encounter powers you can also get some extra favors of soon if you have those copper tickets with the silver tickets you can spend these on some preservation wards or on some insignias 200 for just a purple one there or you can spend them on these boxes to get your influence for your stronghold you can get these ones here they will give you a significant amount of influence which will in exchange give you a chunk of guild marks along with the ones giving gems just make sure your guilds have room to fit those vouchers or you can donate them to other guilds for a certain fee the easiest method is to just buy insignias and refine those to dust so that then you can at least get some character progression nice and simply there without going into the mess of strongholds and guild marks etc as for finally your mithril tickets you will spend those to get ideally these midsummer legendary mount raffles and they'll give you the opportunity to potentially get one of those legendary mounts most people unfortunately We'll just get some trade bars and silver tickets there are these lesser packs which will have some artifacts there which if you get a token of chromatic storm that could sell for a decent amount it is a debuff artifact and then this one here can give you some of those purple mounts if you like the look of them maybe one or two of them sell for a decent amount you could potentially get them from there and that's about it it's just a gamble on what you're getting with mithril tickets however tickets aside the main objective is to go to your petal store just here 
and buy in the consumable section these pinatas. After kicking six Saha balls, we only have enough to get one pinata. But again, you want to be kicking those balls during the summer festival height and also in a party with others. You use the pinata and then you kill said pinata. And once you kill your pinata, you'll then get rewards dropping from it. Sometimes it can be a little bit hard to see, but we get them there. And you can see you get like your squash soup, you get your caprice, and you can also get watermelon. It's all unbound and you'll be able to sell it. And when you have lots of these pinatas, make sure to hold control and split up the stack so that when you go and use one of them, you can see it puts the rest of them on a two minute cooldown that are in the stack. And then when you go and let's say kill your pinata, you get your loot dropping there, you can see that it's still on a two minute cooldown. The rest of the stacks are not. So you want to separate it out, then use it. You can see then there's nothing in the slot. You kill your pinata and then you get your next loot and then you go on to kill the rest of them. That way you can do it nice and quickly. However, also warn you, make sure to do this in the summer festival height. You'll get extra fire blossom petals, which can nearly even make up for the amount you're spending to buy the pinata in the first place. So you end up with a circle like that where you keep buying them and using them and you get absolute tons of that food. And be warned, you wanna kinda do it in a private area like your workshop or a stronghold because otherwise you'll have people pinching your loot people can pick up that loot on the ground not it's not just yours and we go grab that and we get our rewards and that's the entirety of the event the goal is simply to get pinatas the other rewards are nice and all but they're not going to be as reliable it's just getting a whole ton of that buff food which then you'll want to save up for the entirety of the year to keep you going throughout dungeons and trials, etc., so that you can make sure your character's at peak performance with all of those extra stats. So again, I'd like to give a massive thank you to all of these channel members for the continued support. And with that said, hopefully this new player's guide was in-depth enough and easy enough to follow. If I presented this well, consider leaving the video a like, and if you're new around here, consider subscribing. We'll see you guys around. Goodbye for now.